All right, I see 32 people on. Um, let's wait a little bit longer. I'm not sure if we should see more people. I think we're supposed to see more people, but we'll see. Okay, um, tell you what, I see 34 and it's already 117, so we'll get started right away. All right, so what we're doing today is a cute penguin. There's a few ways how to do it. And what I have pictured here are a couple examples from other kids that have done this project before. Uh, as you can see over here, there's different size penguins and there's a variety of different ways how to style them such as penguins with different types of scarves, different types of hats, and different colors as well. And when I went on Google Images, I did find a chibi version of how to draw a penguin, starting off with like a shape of a gumdrop, and then as you go down, it looks super, super cute. In that one, right there. All right, well that said, um, we're gonna need a piece of paper. So that's why I have right here. And then we'll go from there. So I did do this a couple times, as you can see on my sketchbook. I did a really cute one, and then I did a little bit bigger or taller one, but it's still cute. And it's up to you guys to decide if you always want it a little bit taller or a little bit shorter. As you guys noticed in the shorter one, I tried to copy the one from the printouts, uh, and I did that by covering the beak with a scarf, and it was pretty cute. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cover those up for now, and then I wanna go over the basics of how to draw the penguin. All right, so here we go. I'm going to draw the first part with pencil, and this will be the only part I do in pencil because I'm going to be having to erase a lot. So the first step is to draw the gumdrop shape of the body. So this will be the important part. It'll judge how tall or how short you want the penguin to be. Okay, so if you want like a short penguin like how I did over here, you probably have to do a, a shorter one than what I just drew. If you want a taller one, then you probably have to draw this initial shape probably a little bit taller, okay? So it's up to you to decide which, how big you want this uh, shape to be, okay? So this one's gonna be medium for me. All right, first step after you do that shape, I can do this in marker now, because I don't need to erase a lot of few, uh, things first. Um, I'm gonna draw a curved line in the middle from one end to the other. And then depending on how thick you want the scarf to be, you can either go really close to it or really far away from it and draw another line parallel to that, just like so. So if you want to connect it to um, the other line, you can. Uh, let me just show you guys the differences that I, I did, I've done. Hold on. So if you guys look really carefully at this penguin right here, that's what it looks like when you just connect it together like that. But if you look at the other penguin, I did something completely different. I didn't connect them together. I kind of went behind it. And it makes it look like the scarf is going around the body. So if you want to do either or, you can. I'll teach you guys how I did that. So if you just want to connect it together, you can. Or if you want it to go around the body, all you got to do is go from the bottom line, curve up, go past that first line, go past it, and attach it to the body. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the opposite side. I'm going to go up, past that line, and then go attached to the body. And that's how you make something go around the shape. So it looks like it's going around the penguin. But that's optional. It just looks a tad bit better. And I'll, I'll show you guys again. So one on the right, the scarf's connected. The one on the left, the scarf makes it look like it's going around the penguin. All right, next step. I want to do the hat. You can make the hat tilted like this one, or you can make the hat straight up and down like that one right there. It all depends if you want the line tilted or not. So here I go. I'm gonna make this one tilted the other way. So I'm gonna go from here and draw a curve line that way. And then we'll go up a little bit higher and make a parallel line to that right above it, just like so. Okay. Next step, you're just gonna connect those two together with a curve line, curve and curve. And then a circle right around over here, size of a nickel probably. All 
All right, next step. You're going to draw a nice towering mountain line from this part of the rectangle. Curve up. And then head towards that circle that you just drew. Go on the opposite side of that rectangle and go uh, only about this much up. Don't go all the way up. And then from the circle itself, go from the opposite side of that line right here to the middle of the line that you just did. There you go. So now it looks like the hat's tipping over. Really cool. Oh, I apologize. We did forget one part of the scarf. I forgot. I'm going to make a rectangle curving inwards. So I'm going to go from here and make it look like it's getting tucked in. And if you want to make it look like the scarf is getting frayed, you can either do dashed lines or tiny little Vs at the very end. I'm going to do tiny little Vs, and it'll look like that. And then if I flip back to my original examples that I did from the other classes, I did two different types. I did one with dashes, and I did one with Vs at the end of the scarf. So depending which one you like better. All right, next step, I want to do the fins. So there's one flap over here. It's going to be the shape of a leaf. Bring it back so it comes out of the scarf and back into the scarf. And do the exact same thing on the other side, but it's up to you guys if you want it to have it waving or down at its side. I'm going to make it up a tad bit. There we go. So it's angled a little bit. And there we go. All right, for the feet, you can do any feet you want. I'm gonna make it have two waves. So one wave going this way, so one, two, looks like two toes. And then I'm gonna wave the other direction, one, two. So it looks like it has two toes on the other side. All right, now is the part where I can get more specific of how I do the face. Um, it's up to you to decide where you want to put the eyes. I'm going to put the eyes probably around, right around here, nice and large. I want to put a bent oval on each of them. Looks like a cashew kind of or a peanut. And that part of the eye will stay white. And then while it stays white, I'm going to color everything else in that circle black. And it should look like a cute eye, just like that. There we go. Now, uh, again, I'm gonna flip over to my front one for the initial ones of my sketchbook. It's up to you to decide where you wanna put the beak. You can either put it exposed and you can see it very clearly on this one. Or if you wanna make it a little bit more cute, you can kind of tuck in the beak inside the scarf. So if you wanna tuck it in, you can. If you don't wanna tuck it in, that's fine too. I got the tuck in idea from this one right here, this tutorial that I found on Google Images. That's where I got the idea from. I think for this one, I'm going to make the beak barely touching the scarf. Just barely. All right. From this point on, I can take my eraser. There's a couple parts that we don't need. Parts that we don't need are obviously uh, by the hat. We don't need that part of the first circle that we just did with the first like gumdrop oval. We don't need that line right there. We don't need that line inside the scarf or inside the fin either. So I'm gonna erase those lines right there. And we also don't need it on the other side. All right, there's a couple more parts that we wanna draw though. I'll show you guys where they are at. Um, for one thing, uh, around the eye to divide the black part of the penguin to the white part of the penguin. So I'm gonna go from here, from this part of the scarf, I'm gonna go around the eye, and then dip down between, and then go around the other eye, and then meet back at the scarf. And then from underneath the scarf, I'm gonna start by the fin. I'm just gonna make a nice big U shape all the way around the belly and back up. And there. So now I can kind of fill back the lines that I need like beside the face, I can cover this back with marker now. 
on the other side too. Underneath right here. And that's basically it. So now all you can do now is you can color any way you want. I will leave this one up now. And you can do whatever you want. So I didn't do a traditional black penguin. I kind of went with a blue penguin. And I did a gray penguin because I thought it would be more interesting. But it's up to you. You guys can do any type of color penguin you want. And you can design the hat and you can design the scarf any way you want. So I did thin stripes for this one. I did thick stripes for this one. I did a regular red hat for this one. I did um, kind of like a tie-dye type of color right here. So I did like mint green with like light blue for this hat. Thought that would be pretty neat. Um, I think I might make the toes different though. I think I might make the toes orange. And then I'll make the, the beak orange. That way you can see which one you like better. So either have orange and orange or yellow and yellow. You guys can decide which one you like better. That way you guys have some options and see what the end product looks like. All right, well, that said, if you have anything to share, um, you can raise your hand. It could be anything. It could be like an ornament that you did, a uh, previous project. Anyone else want to share? I know there was a couple people from last class that wanted to share their artwork. Uh, William, you want to share? Will, go ahead. I think I did really good on this penguin, like better than I ever have in class. Cool. That's really good, actually. Good job. Because always, I just always ask for help, and this is really good. Good. All right, anyone else want to share? It could be this penguin, too, or anything else you've done. Nobody? All right. We always have more people sharing in the other class. Oh, Zachary, did you bring something? I'd like to see what you got. Go ahead. But for our penguin thing, I made this. Wow, that's so neat. Good job. Thanks. Really, really cool. Right, before I forget, I'm going to stop recording. Hopefully it goes in my folder.